This is welterweight champion Emil Griffith. His ring earnings comfortably support his mother and a family of seven brothers and sisters. He's looking forward to a chance at the middleweight title, and tonight he faces his most severe test. Ruben Hurricane Carter, probably the hardest puncher in the middleweight division. Carter was top-ranked contender until he lost a close decision to Joey Orcher. A win over Griffith will put him back at the top. We'll soon find out what will happen. Okay, fellas. Take his uh... Scoring in Pennsylvania, the five-point mark system, five points to the winner of a round, four or less to the loser. The mandatory eight count is in effect if a man is floored, so is a three knockdown rule, three times floored, and the bout's over. And the count will continue if a man is floored at the bell. Carter in the white trunk, Griffith in the black trunk. Griffith, the well away champion whose title is not at stake, facing probably the hardest hitter he has ever faced in Ruben Hurricane Carter. Carter features the left hook. His right is pretty good and it's quick. He has no jab that we have seen so far. Griffith has all the equipment. A jab, short and long punches, good hooks, good right crosses, good defensive moves. Carter has a tendency to miss over the head with his left hand. It's about under the auspices of the charitable Dapper Dan Club of Pittsburgh. Griffith faced in the middleweight has won seven of his nine bouts with middleweight. He lost to Randy Sandy early in his career and to Denny Moyer, whom he defeated twice. Boys trading good leather here in round one. The winner of this fight could very well challenge for the middleweight title now held by Joey Giardello. You probably noticed that uh, got to take the man at four. champion whose title was not at stake. A left hook sent Emil on the way to Dreamland, and he never quite recovered from it. Griffith, a real good sportsman, a fine competitor, goes over to congratulate...